Hello, this is Brian Resney, President of Resney Wealth Management. I'm here to bring you an important update about the economy and the investment market so you can better position your portfolio. We continue to receive dozens and dozens of phone calls and emails every single week from our radio listeners, really wondering, again, what they should be doing. And I really want to stress, you know, appropriate change in your portfolio is going to be more important than ever. Buy and hold is not an investment strategy, nor was it ever an investment strategy, but making important timely changes to your portfolio is going to be important. And I will continue to focus on the emerging market economies. If you're an investor primarily invested in the US marketplace, you know, with stocks, bonds, or mutual funds, I think you're ultimately gonna miss the boat in a huge way. If you're betting on a consumer-led uh, economy, which is the U.S., rebounding significantly in the next one, two, or three years, I think you are, are really uh, misled, misinformed, and unfortunately are probably greatly going to underperform what the, the investment markets can have the opportunity to offer you. I believe the emerging markets are going to be ultimately uh, the growth vehicle over the next 10, 20, 30 years, uh, and, and that's really going to drive the world economy. It's going to help drive the U.S. economy, but ultimately when you have GDPs growing at 6 to 9 percent, which are a lot of the emerging market economies, versus the United States growing at maybe a 2 percent GDP growth, not even barely enough to keep unemployment uh, flat at 9.2 percent, there's a problem in the U.S. Not only is our political system almost a laughing stock to most of these countries on how we basically handle our debt situation and the debt ceiling and our budget and so forth, but ultimately I think uh, the debt ceiling will be raised. I think uh, uh, bluer skies will prevail, but that doesn't mean we're off to the races in the U.S. economy. Structurally, we are a mature nation. Structurally, we are a debtor nation. What that basically means, we borrow a lot of money to basically do what we want to do or buy what we want to buy. And ultimately, that comes back to really hurt you in the long run on good, sustainable, consistent GDP growth. Uh, not that all places in the U.S. are bad to invest, but the vast majority of things that I see in the U.S. are not as uh, appealing as we see in a lot of the emerging market economies. Even when we look at fixed income investing or income investing for retirees, we continue to look at other places around the world, and I think a diversified portfolio in other places for income is again going to be more important than ever. Interest rates in the U.S. I think are going to be stubbornly low for a while. Um, ultimately, I do see those rates going up, but ultimately I see those rates being stubbornly low, and I see retirees who continue to own CDs, money markets, government securities are ultimately going to be the big, again, uh, loser when it comes to uh, income or dividend income for their retirement. And again, if you're 70 years old and you're married, you have a life expectancy easily of another 20 years, you want to make sure that your portfolio is either producing income or growth or a combination of the two and that's really where total return comes in and I believe those changes are more important than ever. We continue to have a heavy emphasis on small and mid cap uh, within the US which is the one area that I truly believe will help uh, outperform large cap stocks in the US. There are a few areas in the large cap that I do like but the small and mid cap I see those not only as opportunities to grow because they're small but to be bought up by bigger companies that can't physically grow uh, their earnings and revenues at any sustainable pace and that usually were, is where you see the small and mid cap outshine. We continue to have a huge uh, overweighting in the emerging markets and I think again this is going to be more important than ever for you the investor to make sure that changes are made when changes are due. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, if you want to talk to my firm about managing your money, we do have offices throughout Florida, Fort Myers. We just opened a new office in Naples, Florida, Coral Gables, Florida, Boca Raton, Florida, and of course, our home base in Naperville, Illinois. If you'd like to talk to my firm about managing your wealth, call us, don't wait. We'd love to speak with you and get your portfolio back on track in a manner that's conducive for you. Also. Um, I want to make sure that if you haven't visited our website, ResonyWealth.com, and you haven't downloaded that fiduciary registered investment advisor questionnaire, that you do so. Every week we receive calls and emails on that also, on how that really has helped investors, in, in their opinion, save their portfolio for Mr. Salesman or so-called advisor, who is no more than a stockbroker working for a brokerage house and selling them investments that are better for the brokerage firm than for you. Make sure you do protect your retirement, and one of the ways you're going to do that is hire a registered investment advisor, a fee-only registered investment advisor. Until Sunday's show, if you have any questions, make sure you do email those for the show or call our office. We'd love to talk to you and have a review with you about your portfolio. And until Sunday's show, have yourself an extremely 
profitable week.